Right now at 530, we're working to get results for people who say a highway in one part of Fulton County is dangerous. They still need to use it, though, to get from A to B. They went to Georgia's Transportation Department for answers. Then they turned to CBS 46's Melissa Stern for results. A spokesman for GDOT says they've had numerous complaints about this intersection, but they're actively working to find solutions. Until then, people who pass through here every day say it's a nightmare. I've seen pretty bad accidents, and it's not just a little scratch. It's a totaled car. Shakia Guest passes through this intersection every single day. You have to wait at least two or three minutes to ensure that you're not T-bone by oncoming traffic. It's in South Fulton on Roosevelt Highway near the I-285 entrance and exit ramp. There needs to be some way of controlling the traffic. She says drivers make many traffic violations because it's extremely difficult to enter the highway. It's like the wild, wild west. <laughs> People are just making up their own rules. As a result of that, some drivers get impatient and don't want to wait in the long lines. So what they'll do is jump out of the lane that enters the highway and will go to oncoming traffic and do a U-turn and enter the highway from the yield area. She's reached out to the Georgia Department of Transportation several times. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has a, a concern. And she's right. A spokesman for GDOT tells me they've received several complaints about this intersection, and the department is actively investigating the issues that have been reported. I would say maybe at least two times a month there's an accident that's backing up traffic. I don't think the area has adjusted to the growing population. GDOT is investigating potential short-term solutions, which might include restriping and additional signage. The longer-term goal will be to document a traffic study that determines if and how safety and operations can be improved in the future. There are several times I've had near misses. When I get home, I'm a nervous wreck. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.